How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, the long wait for this zero overall franchise is finally here. We're going with the Miami Marlins. And uh, if you guys want to see more of this series, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content, and keep showing the support. And I'll definitely upload this as much as possible. So this team in real life isn't isn't doing too well. And really, no fan wants to be associated with them. Even their most fam famous fan, the Marlins man, at one point this season was like, I don't really want to be connected with you guys anymore i guess they're on good terms now but most fans are kind of looking like this so i think it's time let's just we, we're gonna hit rock bottom we're gonna get rid of all our good players and we're gonna start with a brand new squad a zero overall team everybody's gonna be one overall or you know worse so basically here's our ace truman bartholomew out of maine six foot three 21 years old that's that's really all you need to know about him. I mean, he's got a pretty sweet fro, but outside of that, not too much about him. Our catcher is going to be Captain Thick himself, Arnold Kelly out of South Dakota. Also can play first base, but because he's such a big boy, we're probably going to keep him behind the the dish. Third base, we got Danilo Prince out of Curacao. 23 years old, six foot two. He's got a pretty sweet mullet going on. Um, can also play left field for us, but he's probably going to be working the hot corner. Maverick Moss, the flashiest player on the squad out of Ohio, 5'11", 22 years old. Besides his uh, pretty sweet arm sleeves, he doesn't really have much going for him. He does have a pretty sweet beard. But that's about it. First baseman, we got Clyde Niles out of California, six foot five, the lanky first baseman. Besides him being pretty tall, doesn't have much going for him either, but he does have a pretty sweet handlebar mustache. Second baseman, we got Rain Rodney out of Maryland, is kind of our utility player. Second base, third base, first base, shortstop, he can do it all. Um, switch hitter as well, so he's kind of just uh, all around. All, you know he can do it all so that's that's what's going for him in right field we got pepito americo out of cuba 24 years old can play all across the outfield um takes on joey gallo's stance so maybe he can uh hit like joey gallo hopefully in left field we got yancey esmond out of alabama um i don't i think they probably misspelled his name i think it's supposed to be edmonds but you know alabama I can see why they probably misspelled it. And in center, one of my favorite players to sign but never ends up being in a rebuild, Victor Victor Mesa, who actually in real life signed with the Marlins. So we decided to make him a marquee signing. And I'll tell you what a marquee signing means. Carlos Kike is also one of our starters, the 24-year-old out of the Dominican Republic. You can see he's 6'4", 221 pounds. Another starter we have is Abraham Milton out of Maine. One of the older players on the squad, 35 years old. Uh, probably won't be with us for too much longer, but we needed someone, so we went with him. Poncio Alvarez out of Cuba. Another one of the oldest players on the squad, 29 years old. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. Kip Aiden. Out of Minnesota, 27 years old, righty but bats, lefty, six foot five. So he's a he's a pretty tall presence on the mound. Moving into our relievers, we have Adam Malachi, another tall figure, six foot four, 19 years old, out of California. So he may even grow a little bit more since he's only 19. Dario Leonard, 20 year old out of California as well. Throws righty, has a running fastball Vulcan change. We got our next pitcher, Darvi Jarvis, 22 years old. Throws a split finger Vulcan change, curve and fastball. Next up, we got another lefty, Freddie Hippolito, 25 years old, six foot four. So we do have some pretty tall pitchers, but we'll see if that helps us out at all. Next up, we have the nerd of the squad, Egbert Dillon. 30 years old out of Colorado throws a fastball Vulcan change cutter and slider next up Alfredo Derrick out of New Mexico 25 throws a sinker two seamer change up and a fork so maybe maybe that fork ball will come in handy ace Bruno 
out of California. Throws a slurve, sweeping curve, sinker, and four seam fastball. Five foot ten, one of the shorter pitchers we have in the squad. And our closer, another tall figure, Edoberto Gonçalves out of Brazil. Not too many Brazilian MLB players, but maybe he has the talent to kind of like break through. But um, switch hitter, pretty interesting. Our bench consists of Braxton Lawson out of Alaska. Six foot three, can play first base as well. And the key thing about him, I'm gonna call him Unibrow, as you guys can see why. Sonny Boniface is kind of our utility player as well. Um, bats lefty, throws righty out of North Carolina. First base, left field, center field, and right, as well as third base. And then we also have Chris Montague, who's going to be our like DH and also another um, infield specialist, can play all across the infield. And then our final player, Jax Ambrose out of Arizona. He's, you know, that's that's really about it. He's got a pretty cool name, I guess. So that's that's about it, guys. That's the squad. I hope you guys are looking forward to seeing how the team plays. We're going to hop into this franchise now. And the team itself are all randomly generated names. I dropped everybody to a one overall. There's no funny business, no forced trades. Um, GM contracts are off because I've this might end up being longer than three years so as you guys can see we have Victor Victor Mesa as our marquee signing and I decided to make him a marquee signing because if we have a full one overall team it's gonna be pretty tough and having just one player that is above a one overall I think is an okay thing I usually sign him in one of my rebuilds so he's kind of like a just one of those guys that just kind of sticks around you know he's just He's just a player that's always been there. So I figured why not make one more key signing and make it pretty interesting. Everybody else in the squad is one overall. Um, some players are two overalls, but that's because once you promote a player to the MLB or if their morale is going well, they end up getting a boost in their, um, in their stats. So that's why some players are two and some players are one. Um, even some stats, like some guys' speed are going to be three. So you'll see that. A big thing I also wanted to talk about is you guys can see there's a lot of other players that are above one overall. Those guys are all in the farm system. They will not play in the majors. Um, basically, I didn't lower their stats because if I went through every single player in the Marlins um, farm system uh, or anything like that, it would take me like three, four hours to do that. Plus, I was already randomly generating um, the players' looks and the names. I'm probably looking at like a six-hour project just to make everyone a one overall. So if you guys still want me to do that, I'll definitely drop everyone's potential and overall. It's just I felt like you guys are going to see this roster, and this is the only roster that we're going to use um, with the players that I introduced to you guys. So these players in the farm system, should I just like trade them for really, really bad players? Should I release them? What should I do with them? Let me know in the comment section below because I'm never going to use these guys and I feel like they're just going to waste in the farm system, which works because we want to use a one overall team and that's what we're going to use. Everyone I showed you in the lineup and the pitching rotation is the team that we're going to go with. So another key thing I want to use in this franchise is scouting. Obviously the draft, we only get six picks a year really, so hopefully those players that we draft turn into superstars, but they're still only going to be like 30, 40, 50 rated. So we could get a good player and we may not. So we're going to have to wait and see. So let me know some other rules or regulations you guys think we should follow throughout this series. I want this to be a series you guys enjoy, a series you guys interact with. The more comments, the more likes that you guys put on each video, the more likely I am to upload on a more consistent basis um, let me know what you guys don't like what you guys do like and stuff like that so like I said guys this is the lineup Victor Victor Mesa is our marquee player for the year um, basically I wanted to add one player who would help us throughout the season obviously one player isn't gonna win us a lot of games but maybe he can win us one or two throughout the season so I hope you guys enjoyed this intro this was a post -com part of it we're going to hop into opening day against the Cubs 
and see how it goes i'm very nervous i don't know how it's gonna go the games we're gonna do are all gonna be live com so i hope you guys are looking forward to that um but that's about it guys this is this is gonna be a very tough series so that's it for the post com portion and uh well, yeah let's let's get into the real stuff let's get into the opening day all righty opening day for us here in miami I'm, I'm feeling very very unsure on how the season's going like i feel like we could have a couple bright spots like some players may do really really well for us even though they're very low overall but at the same time i feel like we may not win a single game so my goal i want to win at least five this year like that's that's a i think that's like a safe aim for us if we win five games so what i want to say is if you guys have any ideas like some some changes or any feedback on how to make this series interesting what we could do to keep this fun and keep it alive um definitely let me know in the comment section below because i want you guys to be involved in this series as much as possible i want you guys to feel like this is your series as much as it is mine because the more you guys are involved i feel like the more you'll definitely want to watch this so as you guys can see opening day Kyle Hendricks for the Cubs versus our crazy haired man in Truman Bartholomew. I decided to rock the 1993 um, teal and white pinch, like the jerseys with the pinstripes. I feel like those are just, they're, they're just an amazing throwback. Um, we're obviously led by our marquee player in Victor Victor Mesa. I believe his brother actually signed with the Marlins as well. Um, so we have him in the farm system. I think he's like a 53 overall see potential player so if you guys think we should bring him up maybe as kind of like another marquee player that we could use as one of our acquisitions through the year definitely let me know um but this is this is going to be a really a really tough tough matchup the cubs are definitely one of the better teams to come up against and we're using the newest osfm roster i think it's called the end of the season update um but here's the starter comparison we got truman bartholomew versus Kyle Hendricks um, we're gonna we're gonna have to see how it goes I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty pessimistic about it I'm not gonna lie so I'm waiting for the Cubs lineup to pop up so once that does I'll show you guys what we're looking at oh perfect timing actually Ben Zobrist Almora we got Murphy Bryant Baez Rizzo Hap Hendricks and Contreras so uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty tough for us you know it definitely has a lot of power definitely just a really good team um, and I'm feeling good. It's opening day. I'm feeling energetic. I'm feeling excited about everything. Let me know if you guys want me to stay with no face cam for these games. I feel like this way you guys can just focus on the gameplay. I can just talk while we play. Um, it's obviously still a live comp, but just no face cam so we can see how this goes. Um, really the only so you could here we go i was gonna say really the only thing you need to know about our lineup is victor victor mesa is leading off but here we go this is how we're lining up for the game we got niles kelly prince moss and rodney as our infielders and then the outfield is americo and right we have esmond in left and victor victor mesa obviously in center so here we go very first pitch of the season how's it gonna go we're going to two seam up in the zone and hey, if Niles gets on his horse, makes the play, we got a one pitch out here. Okay, I'm I'm feeling good now. I'm feeling that's a good start. We're gonna get Almora with the slurve here to start off his at bat. Not the best pitch, but you know what? I'll take it. So through two pitches, no runs allowed, and possibly two outs on the third pitch of the game. Okay, Victor Mc, Victor Victor Mesa. Showing his range there in center. So 1-1 one, one count here. Slurve down in the zone. Show your range. First hit for the Cubs. I probably should have dove there with Prince. The third baseman. But unfortunately, I thought I thought maybe, just maybe he had the range. Just maybe. Just goes by his glove. And uh, now we got a runner. Now they have a runner in scoring position. Can Prince make this play? 67 speed. There we go. This time he makes the play at third, and we get out of the get out of the inning with no trouble. But they did get a hit, which is unfortunate. But hey, 
No runs allowed. That is always a win. Alrighty. So this is our lineup. We got Mesa, Prince, Moss, Esmond, Rodney, Niles, Kelly, Americo. And then we got the pitcher hitting in the nine spot. I'm feeling good. Let's go, Victor, Victor Mesa. Let's let's start us off right. You're our highest rated player. You're you're the leader of the team. High fastball. Ooh, should have should have done a lot better with that one. All right, one two count. Come on, let's get a hit here. A nice little rip, but I think Almora is gonna make the play. Yeah, kind of hit right in the center field. We're gonna go. We're gonna get out there in center. So you know, not the best start. We got Danilo Prince up, third baseman. And he's going to get our very first hit. Oh, man. There we go. I will definitely take that. Danilo Prince, first major league hit for him. And there was actually one thing. I don't think I mentioned this at the beginning of the series. So I want to show you guys the settings. We are going to be playing Hall of Fame for everything to start. If things feel a little bit easy while we play the games or if... um something just yeah like if it feels easy i'll definitely bump it up to legend for right now i feel like we're rocking a, a very garbage team i think hall of fame should be okay difficulty for us but if at any time i feel like we're winning games way too easily i will definitely bump it up to legend so that's what i wanted to say i turned off injuries that was another thing i turned off injuries for the first season just so that we can stick with the same roster um but if you feel like we should turn on injuries, let me know. But here we go. Danilo Prince on first. We got the hot shot. Shortstop in Maverick Moss. Swinging at garbage. Get a little hit streak going. A little hit parade. 0-2 count. We got Prince on first. Here we go. Come on. That might drop. Is that going to drop? Is that going to drop? Go back. Go back. Go back. No. I thought it was going to drop. Oh, that's a mistake by me. Oh, I thought it was a lot closer to first base oh i messed that up one two count little slurve strike three kelly does drop it but he keeps it in front of him and we get the drop third strike out we still get the out two outs he definitely has a little bit of power i think this is gonna drop unless oh victor victor mesa in victor bleh, victor victor mesa in center again showing off the range and makes the play while he tumbles in center there we go 90 speed is fully utilized there all right we got the lanky first baseman clyde niles let's see if we can keep this inning alive with two outs that was a sinker. If that was a fastball, I was I was sitting on fastball. I was kind of hoping it was. 0-1 oh, count. All right, keeping it alive. 1-2 count. Ah, I got under it. It was a sinker. Baez is there to make the play. And we're going to go down 1-2-3, unfortunately. But, hey, we're, we're keeping up with the Cubs. I'm pretty sure Hendricks is on, like, pitch number 7 or 8 of this at bat. I need him to strike out. All right, there we go. We get the K. That's what I'm talking about. Third. And we're not even done with the third. So, realistically, we may just maybe get five innings out of him. Maybe. As that happens, we get out of the inning. So, three shutout innings for Truman Bartholomew on his debut. Here we go. We got Thick Boy, the catcher, Arnold Kelly. If we don't get a home run with him this season, I'll be so disappointed. I mean, if we swing at stuff like that, we we won't be getting home runs. But let's uh, let's keep it going. Bottom three. That was a floater. That should have been that should have been a hit. And then this time I'm late on the change, and he strikes out. Yikes! Or gets it to a one-one count. Bottom three. Not too much action. But you know what? Are we gonna get our first extra base hit of the season? Pepito Ameri America goes opposite field, and. He's going to end up at second. First extra base hit for this Marlins team. There we go. I like that one out. We got a runner in scoring position. That's that's just what we need. Slices it opposite field. And all right. I will definitely take a double there. And Victor, Victor, can he provide us with a base knock? 
to get us the lead. This change up, oh my god, it's going to do my head in. It's going to drive me nuts. So we're going to have to see how this goes. 1-1 one, one count. Here we go. And you know what? That might do it. Uh, go back to first. Go back to first. He's out. Oh, I thought he was going to go all the way home with it. And I just, oh, ignorance ruins our chance of scoring. But you know what? We're getting hits, and it's it's giving me a little bit of, you know, hey, I'm getting a little excited here, but I thought he was going to go home with it because, you know, the, the runner could have scored there, but didn't take advantage of it, and we do spoil that running or that scoring opportunity. We would have had first and third, and uh, unfortunately, it doesn't work, but Bartholomew gets the K, so there we go. So we do get a little bit of happiness after that ruined opportunity. Now we got Daniel Murphy up any second. That could happen. All right, Rain Rodney. I thought that was going to be a base hit. I was going to say that could happen where it just squeezes by. They get a base hit, and it becomes a little bit of a, of a threat. But Rain Rodney flashing the leather. All righty, Danilo Prince. Let's get it going here. Mm. Oh, one count. Here we go. Oh, Kyle Hendricks. Can he get back to first? Get there. He's out. I should have just ran through it. Here we go. Oh, please stay fair. Oh, I was going to say he's keeping the at bat alive. I think this is pitch number six now. One, two count. Come on. All right, two two now. All right, it's a little bit of a little bit of a battle going on, keeping it alive. Come on, give me something good to hit. Another sinker, I believe it was, fouls it off. Yep, it's kind of favoring this outside part of the plate, but you know what? We're keeping the the inning alive. I think this is pitch number eight. High fastball, probably one of the better pitches to hit this at bat, and unfortunately we get under it a little bit late. And it's going to be a 1-2-3 inning for us. And uh, it's the fifth inning. So, to be honest, yeah, that's definitely his last batter. I was going to say, to be honest, I'm surprised he lasted this long. And you know what? We got Baez on first. Definitely probably should be time to take him out. Hit and run situation. We're going to bring in Darby Jarvis. 6-3. You know, pretty tall pitcher there. But let's see who, who else we can warm up. We're going to warm up Hippolito. First base, we got Baez. He's going. Oh, no. Hit and run came. They even told. They warned me about it. Like, they were like, they're going to hit and run. Ah. First pitch. Like, no. Just, they didn't even give me, like, they warned me. Hit and run. They didn't even give me, like, one pitch to get ready. Rizzo takes it. In the gap, scores Baez from first, and it was it wasn't a horrible pitch. You know, it was a splitter inside part of the zone. They just, I mean, it's just Anthony Rizzo taking me in the gap. So one one count now. They got the lead, unfortunately. Ah, uh, I feel like that's a little tough. That's definitely a little tough. But we had no outs. We're gonna hit him with the curveball away. Ooh, I thought maybe we would have we would have had him chasing that. We're gonna go back to the Vulcan change. Rizzo's getting to third, isn't he? Oh, we got him! We got him going to third. Kelly getting up behind the plate, making the throw to Prince, and he's actually gonna get back on. Hendricks may have actually just messed this up. Maverick Moss is gonna make the out, or you know. Get the out at second so the, the sacrifice bunt doesn't work for them. So we do get the lead runner. And could we get we get out of the inning? Oh, man. So the damage limited to one. A little bit of an unconventional inning with the way the outs worked. But it was only one run. But at the same time, it was one run. So we're down one to nothing heading into the bottom of the fifth. Man. That run last inning really hurt. All right, let's see if Americo can make the play out and right. He d he drops it. Oh, it's all crumbling now. 
Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Well, in his defense, he did have to go a long way to get there, but that's not the problem. Routine fly ball. And I, I should have known this was going to happen sooner or later. And he just, in it, it's in your palm. Just close the glove. But, uh. Ah man, I can't believe that just happened. Where we fall apart, but we got we got one out now. But it's no oh, man. That was a bad pitch. That that definitely. Ooh, this is uh, it's get, it might start to get ugly now. Jarvis is tired. I realized like his energy bar was yellow as soon as I started the pitch. I missed my spot. That was a fastball down the middle, and Almora takes me deep. Ooh, yikers. This is uh, this might start to get a little ugly. We're down three to nothing now. Yikes. All right, so we're going to bring in uh, Egbert Dillon. I feel like Egbert Dillon is probably like the nerdiest guy on the team. Just his name. and He just kind of fits, fits the look, too. Just kind of looks a little nerdy. But hey, he can be the biggest nerd on the team if he's gonna get me out. So we get we get the next out of the inning. Two outs. Chris Bryant here. A little high, a little high, unfortunately. Slider down in the zone. Can we get him? All right, Rain Rodney, make the play. Make the play. We do. Ooh, we do allow two runs. So we are down three to nothing, which. Ooh, that that hurts a little bit more. It feels like they're slowly starting to take advantage of our mistakes, which is unfortunate. Adam Malachi isn't ready, so we're gonna have to bring in Freddie Hippolito, six foot four, two eleven. So let's I definitely don't want to bring in a lefty for Baez, cause. Mm, yikes! It's getting bad. It's it's getting bad. But like I was saying, I really shouldn't be throwing pitches up in the zone because I know I'm going to miss. Like this, I should not be doing that. But can Yancey Esmond make the play? There we go. So Yancey Esmond can make that play. But Pepito Americo cannot make a simple pop-up. Okay, I'll have to definitely keep that in mind. All right, we're going to keep Hippolito out there. Even though he allowed the home run, the, in, the batters after that weren't too bad. And I feel like at this point, it's just damage limitation, especially because that's another home run. So as soon as I praise Hippolito for pitching well, I give up another home run because I'm an idiot and I threw another high pitch and I missed my spot. Even though it was a cutter inside part of the plate, I definitely missed my spot. And that somehow is going to be taken opposite field. For a home run for Wilson Contreras, like, yeah, okay, I've, yeah, that's that's a lot more central than I wanted it to be. That was right down the middle, so I, I definitely understand why he crushed that. For Hippolito, following the home run, can he get another one? I don't think Moss is gonna make the play there, unfortunately. And the Cubs are gonna keep the inning alive with a little bloop single over Maverick Moss. And now we got to face Chris Bryant with the lefty. And it's probably a smart idea to bring in a righty. But you know what? I am I feel like at this point, might as well just keep him in. 1-2 count on a slurve that was dangerously down the middle. And another cutter down the middle. Americo is not going to make that play. This might be another run. This is definitely another run. This might even be a triple for Chris Bryant. Can we make the play at home? No, we don't. But ah, I was going to say there was like some positive about it, but there wasn't. That, that was just really bad. He gets the double off of it. And he's going to get to third on this too. Actually, can we get him? Oh, just a little bit late on the tag. And now we got a runner on third here with Baez up. And he's going to score. And this is, my, this is actually a double. This is 100% a double. Yancey Esmond doesn't have the arm 
and just the route he took to the ball is not good enough. 7 nothing here in the 8th for the Cubs. And we're going to bring in Adam Malachi to face Anthony Rizzo. Uh, that's definitely moving by is over. I'm not even going to throw it. Bottom 8, we got 6 outs left. 6 outs left. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Okay, Rain Rodney, as long as he doesn't get thrown out at first, which he won't. Rain Rodney's got a hit. There we go. So we're up to four hits on the day. And Rain Rodney has his first major league hit. His first hit in the bigs. There we go. So I feel like hitting wise, we haven't done horrible. Four hits for a team that has like a combined power of two. I feel like it's pretty solid. Um, we even got a double on the day. I feel like the defensive and the pitching miscues are where we really struggle. Like pitching, we're, I, I'm going to have to be super selective to complete game shutout, which is unfortunate to see. He's even going to get a base hit for himself. Unless, what, we're going to get a bad throw to first? Why? I feel like we could have made, you know, could have gotten the out there. Ah. <sighs> It's a good strike there. 0-1 oh, count to Wilson Contreras. Guy on first. Guy on second? No, we're going to keep him at first. Alrighty, 2-1 count to Wilson Contreras. And we're going to get another run scored on us. Kyle Hendricks advanced on a pass ball. And I was kind of hoping the bleeding would stop. But they did have to add another one. Liner towards second. He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. And he's safe. Dan Count goes out the window with this batter right here. It doesn't matter if it's 0-2-2-0. He's locked. He has great bat to ball skills. There are some guys that just had a knack zero of being able to get the barrel. Uh, as I say that, second and third. Okay, I definitely think that will, shouldn't have been a drop by you, Kelly. That was a fastball inside part of the plate. And this is definitely moving the runners. Capito Americo makes the play, but unfortunately, it is going to be a sack fly, and it's going to make it nine to nothing. Two outs, but still nine nothing. Oh, one count. A little change up down in the zone, and we have hit ten nothing. Yikes! Ooh. Yeah. All right, Chris Bryant's up. Here we go. High curveball gets Chris Bryant, and it is ugly. It is ten nothing, but we got to take it. Hey, we get a strikeout. It is ten runs on thirteen hits, and we only have four hits, no runs at all. And we're gonna bring in our second pinch hitter. Let's bring in. Jax Ambrose. I mean, it doesn't matter. Everyone's stats are the same, but we'll, we'll give Jax Ambrose a shot. See if he can start us off. And you know what? It is Javi Baez, so I think he's going to be out. But not, not a bad piece of hitting for a guy who has one power. Had our first hit of the game, actually. A little single. And you know what? Is he going to get another one? Oh, that was a good contact, but that is how the game is going to end. A complete game shutout for Kyle Hendricks. And we started off so well. I think we were three hits to one on the Cubs. And then after the fifth inning, they scored on a hit and run. And uh, it just it went downhill from there for us. We definitely collapsed, and it feels like everything just kind of came crumbling down. So unfortunately... We did lose 10 to nothing, but there were some positives to take for that. Definitely some positives to take out of that. Four hits is always solid. Bartholomew threw, what, four innings of one run ball? Like, that's that's decent. I'm going to take that as a positive as well. Um, we did get a double. That's another positive. But overall, I definitely was expecting this. I was expecting it to be a little bit worse. I definitely was. I was expecting like 17, 15 runs to be scored on us. But uh, I feel like 
you know, we got to we got to take some positives and negatives from each game. We definitely could have pitched a little bit better. I feel like that's going to be our biggest downfall is our pitching. So hopefully it does get a little bit better. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed game one of the you know of this franchise if you did make sure you hit that like button in the next episode we'll go over some of the comments that you guys left for for us maybe even highlight some of them on screen as well as we'll simulate through the rest of the first month and you know hop in the game we'll, we'll, we'll play another game so it'll be our second game played of the franchise as well as sim through the second month um, I'm thinking about one game played per month so we can get this franchise going really get it um just just full steam like play a game simulate a month play a game simulate a month so that we can really start to get into like the scouting and stuff like that so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you hit that like button let's try to get this video 50 plus likes and um, i'll definitely bring you guys another episode within you know either tomorrow or the next day i want this to be a series that we can continue to pump out episodes I, would, I think you guys have been really wanting to see this so i want to bring it to you so make sure you hit that like button subscribe if you are new and enjoyed the content and again let me know in the comment section below some recommendations some feedback and stuff like that so that's going to end it for me guys i'll catch you all in the next video peace